This video is brought to you by Altium. You might have watched my videos on DS18B20, one via digital temperature sensor, BMP180 sensor, which is capable of measuring the temperature, pressure, and altitude, DHT11 sensor, which is one of the most commonly used sensors and is capable of measuring the temperature and humidity, and my favorite one, the Max 6675K type thermocouple temperature sensor which I'll be using today. I have already used all of these sensors in my previous projects based on the Arduino, Raspberry Pi, ESP32, ESP8266, STM32, etc. I will add links to all the related videos in the description. The BMP180 and DHT11 sensors are good for monitoring the ambient temperatures and are used in places where surface contact is not needed between the sensor and the objects. The temperature range of the BMP180 sensor is minus 40 to plus 85 Celsius, while the temperature range of the DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor is 0 to plus 50 Celsius. Now, the DS18B20 temperature sensor and the MEX 6675K type thermocouple temperature sensor both are good for surface contact based temperature monitoring. The temperature range of the DS18B20 is minus 55 to plus 125 Celsius, while the temperature range of the MAX 6675K type thermocouple is 0 to plus 1024 Celsius. There is no doubt that the DS18B20 is an amazing temperature sensor, but due to its very limited temperature range, it just can't be used in areas where you need to monitor high temperatures. DS18B20 has its own uses. Personally, I have been using it with Arduino, STM32, Raspberry Pi, and IoT supported controller boards like ESP32 and Node MCU, ESP8266 Wi-Fi modules. But when it comes to the MAX 6675 amplifier and the K-type thermocouple temperature sensor, it's just at another level. Its ability to measure high temperatures makes it ideal for industrial applications. In today's episode, you will learn how to make Raspberry Pi Pico and MAKES 6675K type thermocouple based industrial temperature monitoring system. You might be thinking why Raspberry Pi Pico if the same project can be built using the Arduino boards. There are some reasons which I have already explained in my 46 minutes video on the Raspberry Pi Pico. I did a side-by-side -side comparison of the Arduino and Raspberry Pi Pico and I built 10 beginners level projects. So I highly recommend you should watch this video. Anyways, some of the key reasons are number one, Raspberry Pi Pico is extremely cheap. You can get Raspberry Pi Pico only for $4 from the robot and it's also available on Amazon. Number two, Raspberry Pi Pico is insanely fast. Number three, Raspberry Pi Pico is much easier to use than the Arduino boards. Number four, low power consumption. Number five, more GPIOs and there are so many other reasons. So before I'm going to explain the circuit diagram and programming, first let's watch this Raspberry Pi Pico and make 6675K type thermocouple based industrial temperature monitoring system in action. This video is sponsored by Ultium. Ultium Designer is the world's most trusted PCB design system. Ultium Designer enables engineers to effortlessly connect with every facet of the electronics design process. Over 35 years of innovation and development focused on a truly unified design environment makes it the most widely used PCB design solution. With Ultium Designer, you can create PCB designs with an intuitive and powerful interface that connects you to every aspect of the electronics design process. Route it your way through any angle, tune for delay, push, slide and walk around faster than ever. Interact and collaborate with mechanical designers like never before in a photorealistic 3D design environment. If you want to get started with the Ultium Designer, you can click on the first link in the description. I started off by connecting the power supply. You can use your laptop or computer or an external 5 volt regulated power supply 
or you can use a 3.3 volt LiPo battery. You can see the temperature on the SSD1306 OLED display module which means everything is wired up correctly and also the programming is done correctly. I'm going to hold this sensor and let's see how sensitive this sensor is and how quickly the temperature rises. In just a few seconds, the temperature raised from 20 to 26 Celsius. So I'm pretty satisfied with this whole setup. And as you can see, the temperature is still rising. Now let's start the actual testing. I'm going to apply some heat to the sensor and let's see if the buzzer will turn on. In the programming, I set the maximum limit to 200 Celsius. So the buzzer will only turn on when the temperature exceeds 200 Celsius. You can change this limit as per your requirement. You can see the buzzer just turned on as the temperature exceeds the 200 Celsius limit. The buzzer will automatically turn off when the temperature falls below the set limit. With this K-type thermocouple temperature sensor, you can measure temperatures as high as 1024 Celsius with temperature measurement accuracy plus minus 1.5 Celsius, which is quite acceptable when dealing with such high temperatures. If you are planning of making a plastic injection molding machine or a water boiler, or a heater etc then you should try this sensor you can build yourself a low cost industrial level temperature monitoring system now you have got an idea of what exactly you are going to learn after watching this video so without any further delay let's get started <laughs> The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from TF Robot and Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the Max 6675 thermocouple temperature sensor amplifier breakout module. The temperature resolution capability of the Max 6675 amplifier module is 0.25 degrees. The working voltage is DC 3.0 to 5 volts. The operating current is 50 milliamps. The temperature range is 0 to 1024 Celsius with temperature resolution of 0 0.25 Celsius. Temperature measurement accuracy is plus minus 1.5 Celsius and the output mode is SPI digital signal. The two wires of the thermocouple comes with the red and blue sleeves. Red is connected with the positive terminal of the Max 6675 module while the blue wire is connected with the negative terminal of the MAX 6675 amplifier module. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the circuit diagram. The VCC and ground pins of the MAX 6675 and SSD1306 or LED display module are connected with the Raspberry Pi Pico 3.3 and ground pins. The SCK, CS and SO pins of the Max 6675 amplifier module are connected with the Raspberry Pi Pico GP13, 14 and 15 pins. The SCL and SDA pins of the SSD1306 I2C supported OLED display module are connected with the Raspberry Pi Pico GP pins 17 and 16. The red wire of the 5 volt buzzer is connected with the Raspberry Pi Pico V bus pin, the ground pin of the 5 volt buzzer is connected with the collector of the 2N2222 NPN transistor. The base of the transistor is connected with the Raspberry Pi Pico GP28 pin through a 10 kilo ohm resistor. The emitter of the transistor is connected with the ground pin of the Raspberry Pi Pico 
So that's all about the connections. I completed all my connections as per the circuit diagram. And now let's take a look at the programming. This is the main code which displays the temperature on the SSD1306 or LED display module and turns on the buzzer when the temperature exceeds 200 Celsius. The OLED display module and its library installation I have already explained in Raspberry Pi Pico complete course video. I will provide a link in the description. You can see we have these two codes. As I said earlier, this is the main code and this is the library code. Save the library code with the name max6675 and don't forget to add the .py extension and save the main code with the name main.py. Let's open the folder and you will get the idea. You can see one file is saved as main.py and the other file is saved as max6675.py. In the main code we simply import the max6675. You can download these codes from our website electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description. Anyways, both the codes are saved on the Raspberry Pi Pico. And now let's watch the Raspberry Pi Pico and Max 6675 K-type thermocouple based industrial temperature monitoring system in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you like today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.